I have decided on what kind of woods I'm going to be using for the pen. Now I should say pens because there's another one coming in the mail with the 37 64 inch drill bit. And I'm going to be using four different types of wood. So that means I'll be using up four of the six brass tubes. And then I'll sort of decide which looks the best or which two look the best. And uh, I'm going to keep one of the kits for myself and the other one I'm going to give away. Now the person that's getting it already knows who he is. So please don't send me a comment saying, may I have it, because it's already spoken for. Now one of the samples is going to be the sycamore. I really do like that wood. Who knows, that might be the one I keep for myself. We'll see. But, unfortunately, it's only three quarters of an inch square. And as you can see, when I lay the uh, bushing for the cap on it, it doesn't leave much margin for error. So I'm just going to have to hope for the best. Now, as it turns out, there's going to be five different kinds of wood. The oak, monkey wood, mahogany, sycamore, and the burl. And I wish I could remember, you know, what kind of burl that is. Uh, maybe I can phone the guy that gave it to me. He might remember. Uh, anyway, another uh, mistake I made was I said I only had six sets of blanks. Well, I'm going to have seven. There's the uh, five that come in this package and then each one of the kits has one each so that'll be seven. So I got seven chances to get it right. Now as you can see, the mahogany and the oak are already drilled out. Well the mahogany is only partially drilled out. I'm going to wait until I get the uh, proper bit before I continue it on. But the mahogany and the sycamore I left long, even though they're for the short tube. Reason being is, I think there's a pretty good chance I'm going to be wanting to put this in the precision lathe to finish it up. Because it is only three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch. In fact, this way, I believe it is slightly under. I've already centered up the pen blank vise. So when this comes down, it should be pretty well in the center of that blank. And um, we'll do the round mahogany one first. And it shouldn't be too hard to do these ones because uh, these ones are the lesser diameter. I think about a sixteenth of an inch less. Anyway, here we go. Well, there, as you can see, that's pretty well centered. I hope the rest go that good. Okay, now we'll do the sycamore. Not too bad. Just a little bit off. Now the fellow that gave me this burl, he's also one of my Facebook friends. And I remember he put the knife on his Facebook page. So it wasn't too hard to look it up. It was maple. And this is the knife. And this is the burl. I think it'll probably look quite a bit like this. Now on this piece here, you can see that it's a really bad spot. And I think though, that if I cut it off, right here, 
square it up and make another cut right here. Should be lots of room to make the blank for the cap. This end here seems to be pretty good. I might be able to actually cut it this way and also this way. So I'll get four blanks out of it. I don't know, maybe not. I'll know once I actually start cutting. Now naturally I don't need a piece that's almost one and a half inches square. So I'm going to narrow it down a bit. And just one more here. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll just pass it through the bandsaw and bring the blade up like this, a little bit on each side. You know what I'm doing here? Yeah, should be pretty obvious. And then I'll end up with a piece that's oh, maybe almost an inch square. Now there's something I read in the instructions that make a lot of sense and I don't know if I would have thought of it myself, but they suggested that what you do is you drill out your cap blanks first with this smaller bit. Now I know this is pretty big, but this is the smaller of the two and use it as a pilot hole. Now I was just thinking, the oak pieces are actually done. I could go ahead tomorrow and glue these up, turn them, see what they look like. My uh, 3764 bit should be here the day after tomorrow, all being well. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>